Hello and welcome to Aikwanda's YouTube channel. Today I'll be discussing a very important topic about how to pick the most suitable and doable LRDA sets in CAT 2024. So <coughs> let's start that. And uh, this is all about picking two LRDA sets. Why I say two? The reason is simple because if you solve two LRDA sets completely, like all 10 questions, you will be 99th percentile. Okay, but I'll also tell in case you don't do all the questions in a set, then what has to be done? Okay, so starting with, <clears throat> first of all, the step one is the scanning of the entire paper. And you can spend first five minutes on scanning the paper. Now you would say five minutes is a lot of time. Why not just go, you know, full throttle on one set and try to solve it? The problem is, if you do that, you might be stuck in that for let's say 15, 20, 25 minutes. And if, you know, kind of, if one, one set is screwed, the entire paper is screwed. LRDA is second section. And after that, quant, quant comes. So in a way, entire cat will uh, go down the, down the drain. So the best thing is to first spend five minutes on scanning the paper. What all things can be done. So <clears throat> there are different points which will be helpful in choosing a set. First is familiarity of the topic. When I say familiarity... So in the classes, we have done LRDI in different uh, aspects, different topics. It can be games and tournaments, selection, arrangement, puzzles, uh, <clears throat> caselets, it can be different things, right? But if you look at the papers of last few years, you'll find that no set belongs to one particular topic. It can be a mix of a lot of them, all right? Having said that, Still, if it's a mix of, let's say, two or three different concepts, still, there will be some concepts which will be familiar in. So, familiarity is one thing. And uh, how much importance should you give to familiarity? Let's discuss about that. Let's say you are very much familiar about with, with arrangements. And you think, okay, this is the set from arrangement. I am going to do that. There's not the right way to do, do. There are more conditions to that. Okay. Second is the length of the set. When I say length of the set... What does that mean? How many words it has? Not really. How many conditions it has? So if you have any LRDI puzzles, in puzzles there are a lot of conditions, isn't it? So I have seen some puzzles in which there are three to four conditions, not more than that. And the other conditions are given in the questions. So <clears throat> questions can be framed in such a way, you have a set with two, three conditions and with every question, the condition changes. Now this is equivalent to solving five LRDI sets because every question in itself is a set. So we should avoid that, those kind of questions. If you find that set, just avoid that. Do not do that. Well, now, if you have lots of conditions in the main question stem, main problem stem, then that, that set should be done. You know why? Lot of conditions means that lot of data is already given to us and is very, very very helpful for us to interpret the data. Now, interpreting the data that means you can form a table or you can form the way you go about it. The best way is to form a table actually, uh, and we have done that in a lot of um, our classes and also LRDA inception that you must have watched. Uh, so. There, we have discussed how to approach a set and what all conditions should be taken care of and how to make a proper table. Okay. So, length of set in terms of number of conditions. If you there are a lot of conditions, we do that. And if the, every question has a condition, you should not do that. All right. Do not do that. Well, <coughs> so you are scanning the set. And you get to know that there is one set in which a lot of conditions are there. Inside the questions, you skip that. We have remaining three sets. Now, I have seen normally what happens, like there are four sets in uh, LREI. Normally, it happens that one is difficult, two are moderate, and one is easy. Difficult, moderate, moderate, easy. Or, I have also seen in some cases, there is there are two moderate, three moderates, and one easy. I haven't seen two easy sets, you know, uh, but I have seen one easy set always and at least one moderate set will, will be there. So our choice, you know, our, our aim should be identification of this easy set. That is the first um, um, choice and it's done by familiarity and length. I told you two things. Apart from that, what is important? The third thing which is going to help you a lot in choosing the best set is looking at the questions as well, not just the set. So when you look at the questions, and you should do it all in five minutes, you look at all the questions, you tend to know that there are some questions which are 
calculated okay the things are given in the set and you have to calculate that so it will be easy because we always have a calculator online calculator uh, there, there are more things to that if you look at the questions you might be able to realize that the questions are like that if you solve the set completely make a table then all the questions can be done instantly so it happens in lrdi the moment you draw make the proper table which might take you five minutes after that every question is a direct data question from the table so those are sets which are the easiest okay so we pick that set after that the second set which is of course really moderate you won't don't want to go into difficult difficult sets how do we how do we you know identify which set is difficult first point is this questions have conditions other thing is when the problem statement has very less data that will always be a difficult set all right and it's all subjective if you're not familiar with any topic familiarity is not there then that can also be difficult okay so choosing a moderate set now what happens it's not that you have to solve the entire set that can be practically impossible because if five questions are there probably three questions are from the table and two questions something in which you need extra information so those are sets which are moderate in nature that's the second set and uh, <clears throat> so because i'm saying that not all people can solve all five questions in all the sets or two sets that is why we need to we need to look at the third set also if of course there is some time so by applying this strategy you will be able to uh, solve at least seven questions but we should be focusing on 10 questions even if two go wrong we won't be at a loss all right step two decide the order of priority in which you will attempt the paper of course that is what i've discussed earlier also first is obviously easy then we have moderate if we do all of it correctly it's fine if we do half of it the moderate then we should be looking at half of the other, other moderate set we will be having <clears throat> at least one moderate and at least one easy set you won't be having like two difficult sets you know that is not not going to happen normally of course if uh, you know somehow they want to make it difficult they might give you two difficult sets but you remember one thing and that is what you know the, that one thing is most important if everything goes difficult then it's not difficult just for you it's difficult for every one now we'll go to what types of lrdi sets are there the type the description and chances of getting it correct so first is arrangements and orderings in which they can be description is they can be linear so arrangement of people objects with complex conditions chance of getting it correct is very high because there is something which we are familiar with and venn diagrams and set theory we have done a lot of things here uh, it involves multiple groups overlapping elements visualizing venn diagrams uh, even if we have high familiarity to this topic still there is venn diagram optimization in which maximum minimum can be you know they can ask you maximum minimum there are some sets in which uh, I, I i hope you remember one of the classes or maybe somewhere in a in a youtube video i was solving one set which did not look like a venn diagram set but it was a venn diagram set that is why even if you're familiar the chance of getting it correct is not very high it is medium so you know choose your sets accordingly coming and subjective also probably you are a pro in venn diagrams so it might be easy for you well coming to next tables with conditions data in table form with constraints often requiring arithmetic calculations kind of quant based reasoning so getting it correct is very high why because we have calculator and also while preparing for cat we have somehow all the aspirants put in maximum time to quants and that is why they are in a way best in quants right uh, coming to next one that is games and tournaments uh, we have last few years the questions of games tournaments are not they're not very uh, frequent but getting it correct is 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 medium because sometimes they all kind of mix knock and round robin both like they will say stage one was round robin stage two was knockout well coming to graphs which is bar bar graph line graph pie graphs graphs are essentially just the data representation technique and in this it will majorly be calculative so it's of course kind of easy and and chance of getting it correct is very high because we of course have the calculator and we are somehow somehow we are experts in calculation isn't it by this time we are caselets is conditional logic paragraph based data with conditional information requiring logical deductions now here you don't have you you, you normally you cannot draw a table out of that you can just put in some summaries so this can be difficult for some people you know and the chance of getting correct is, is is medium it's not very high so the high ones are these which we should should be selecting while writing the exam distribution and matching so 
there is a very uh, famous uh, puzzle in which you know people were distributed based on their choice of colors the, the 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 countries they were living in and the kind of vehicles they were driving the distribution puzzles so assigning items or people to groups based on specific constraints it's med medium you know kind of getting it correct probability is medium Roots and networks. Roots and networks is something which I have seen in the last year paper as well. It was not exactly roots and network, but somehow if we saw roots and networks, the kind of problems which were asked in last year's CAD, what, what kind of, you will see, okay, I have seen something like that. So <clears throat> this is something which we should be doing, of course, and, and it can, you know, this this uh, is a topic in which a lot of conditions can be put to make it difficult, you know, so it's it's medium. Scheduling and sequencing. This was asked in the last year paper also. So organizing tasks or events within time frame or order based on rules. Like right now, yesterday only, two movies launched, Bull Player 3 and uh, Singham again or returns, whatever. So what exactly happened there? Let's say I, I am an owner of a multiplex or you are the owner of a multiplex. So you have four screens and which can run movie is 2.5 hours long let's say three hours so and you are running it for 15 hours probably you know so you have five shows free for one one multi one, one audi one auditorium and you have like 20 shows like that so you have you can you can stream 20 um, slots you know 20 movies not only two movies in 20 different ways so to maximize your your capital, to maximize your profit, what has to be done? How much shows you'll assign to Bull Balaya, How much to uh, sing him again? And uh, what should be timing? At what time people would be watching a horror movie? Probably not in the night. So all those things, you know, they take in consideration, and that is a very ideal and relatable example of scheduling. And if you go through the film news, you must be realizing that the kind of audies or screens or shows allotted to one movie is more than the other movie there are reasons for that that is this basically an lrdi set and who does that not the film producers they're the statisticians who kind of consult them anyways <coughs> coming to the next one that is um, data comparison mixed graphs in which uh, the graphs would not be just bar line or pie it will be mixed graphs is like a stack column graph like in one column they're different uh, let's say there's a column normally we have a lot of columns to represent different data here in one column itself there are four sets of data all right this stack column graph they can be spider <coughs> webs spider webs kind of graphs and they can be uh, scatter plots so all that are mixed graphs in which uh, things are combined a lot of uh, data represent representation techniques are combined and you need to solve it interpret it medium Coming to the next one, quantitative reasoning, math-based DI involves mathematical calculations like percentage ratio average. This is very high because this is very much similar to solving a long QA question. Well, step three, which uh, I told you already, it's attempting a set doesn't mean you need to solve each and every question. That is kind of, in a, in a way, you know, practically it's impossible also. Try to solve maximum questions with minimum effort and move to, on to next set. So essentially, you need to complete one set that is easy. The other set in which you can do, let's say, two questions or three questions and then one more set. Ideally, your aim should be solving 10 questions with 80% accuracy that will fetch you at least 97th percentile in DILR section. Okay. Then, as I told you, as I told you already, that if somehow cat wants to, you know, kind of uh, uh, do something uh, strange, weird or kind of scare people, which is rare, but let's say, what if it happens? In that case, it will be happening for everyone. So as I told you, there can be three moderate, one easy, or there can be one easy, two moderate, one difficult. Probably they will give two difficult and two moderate. People will be of very high level, but that is rare. But if it still happens, you don't have to worry about it because in that case, it will be difficult for everyone. So whatever percentile you are getting after solving 10 questions, you'll get it in solving by just seven questions. So do not worry about that. That's all for now. I'll meet you again with some other strategy. Stay tuned. Subscribe.